there is life on other planets? Do you think there's life on other planets? Oh, I don't know. Would you like to think about it for a second? Oh, not really. <laughs> Tell me, do you think there is life on other planets? Well, I'm not quite sure, but I suppose there would be. No, you seem definitely. You seem definitely. definitely. How do you see this life and where? Well, I've seen a flying saucer. You've seen one? Yes, when definitely. At Lane Cove. When, when was this? 1953. You don't think this is a figment of your imagination? Mm, several other people with me saw it. You all had the same figment. What did it look like? It was standing up there still. Just suspended in space. With colours coming out. Today's episode, I'm feeling a bit of mixed emotions. And the reason for that is purely because my Banfine 325IS EVO 2 is officially sold, guys. So let me give you guys a little bit of a background on this beautiful, very rare 325IS EVO 2. So if you've been following us from the time we started, it's actually the second video we posted on our channel. I'll pop the link up uh, so you guys can go and watch that episode if you didn't watch the episode. So one of my very good friends and one of my mentors, uh, Vusi, uh, brought one of his buddies to come and uh, visit us and check the shop out. And he was blown away and mentioned to me that he has a 325 IS and he'd like to bring it to us one day to uh, restore. And I'm like, cool, no stress when you're ready. But I planted the seed, and the seed I planted was, I mentioned to him that if ever he'd like to sell, he must please give me first option because I'd love to buy the IS from him. So anyway, a few months passed, I got a call from uh, him. He's like, hey, it's so-and-so. I came there with Busi. I'm like, yo, I remember you. Are you ready to build your IS? He's like, no, Chip, I want to take you up on your offer. I'm ready to sell. And you guys can imagine my excitement. I was super excited. The first thing I asked him for, I asked him, please send me the VIN number and pictures of the car so that I can validate whether the car is a genuine IS or not. So when the pictures came, um, VIN number came, I sent it through to my contacts at BMW and waited for their email to confirm whether the IS was legitimately an IS or whether it was just a normal shadow line or a two-door. So the exciting part about this is that when he mentioned he wants to sell, in his hometown or where he resides is Nelspreet. In Nelspreet, there are a lot of E30 collectors and some serious car guys who have some insane collections. So I didn't want to sleep on this opportunity. So I kept calling my contacts at BMW, please confirm, please confirm. Eventually the email came through and they were blown away, Evo 2, 3 to 5 IS. I then got on the call with him, told him, listen, bro, I'm leaving tomorrow to come to Nelspray. I'm coming to buy the car. Called Uncle Arun up, jumped in the car the next day and drove through to Nelspray. So I was a little disappointed when I seen the car purely because of the condition. However, I was looking for positives. So the positives was that it did have most of its original kit. The tag was upside down. The VIN number checked out. The motor checked out. The suspension checked out. It was a diamond in the rough. Now, where a lot of people would have walked away, I said, nope, I am going to buy this car and I'm leaving with this car today. The only challenge was that the owner or the previous owner took it to someone to restore, pulled the car away, parked it in his garage and the garage door broke down and the car stood there for many years. So in order for us to get this car out, we needed to realistically break the garage door down. So that was exciting and that is what chasing cars is all about. It's about that experience, that adrenaline and the difficulty to get what you want and eventually when you get it, it's a very rewarding feeling. So made the deal happen, loaded the car on the trailer, came back, super excited. We then started some work on the car and um, if you guys can see or notice, if you check around, 
the shop is like chaotically busy which we are super grateful for so that means that this car is not going to get built for the next few years now every day i walk past it and i'm frustrated and i'm like i wish i can build it i wish i can build it but something inside me said you know what chip maybe you should sell it and try and get something more complete for you and give someone else an opportunity to enjoy so that's the story of this car right now how did i sell the car who did i sell the car to and where is the car going so i got reached out by a gentleman in the uk who followed the inkabi journey checked out our instagram page reached out to me for my phone number and uh, sent it through and we got on a call and he's like chap i'm looking for an is and i'm like look there's no complete is's for sale i've got my personal 3 to 5 is that i would want to sell so i would sell the car to you restored he's like send me the details send me the pictures we ran some numbers and we concluded the deal now the most exciting part for me guys is that this special car that was locked away in a garage for many years where the garage door broke down right and someone gave up on it we are going to be restoring this car because the client is from the uk so this car is going to be going to the uk in the next few months which is personally for me a massive honor i've obviously with the inkabi build that was our first overseas build now we're going to be doing a second build but this car is going to be staying in the uk which is an honor for me something that i can't wait to get my hands on because i've been dying to build this car so for a client i can build your car for myself i can't build so everything that needs to be done is going to be done according to the way i would have built the car so i'm super excited for that part and uh, once again thank you so much to the client from the uk i know you're watching it truly is an honor i really appreciate it my team thanks you for this opportunity and we're looking forward to documenting this journey so that you can keep tracks of the car and also you guys can actually watch the journey as well Okay, now let me take you guys through some of the work or actually the list of the work that we're going to be doing on the car so currently the car is stripped i have started a while ago with the intention of restoring the car but like i said we never got around to it so first of all we stripped out the interior and we're going to be recovering the seats in black leather with the black alcantara roof liner uh, very close to OEM standard carpet Re refurbished the dashboard so basically a completely new interior with soundproofing as well so that's your interior aspect we're gonna also be stripping the car down to a shell um, the idea is to do a very high-end restoration um, so I'm gonna be painting the engine bay the undercarriage um, you know sorting out whatever dents etc that's on the car the car will stay its factory color which is the ice white option I have started buying parts for the car before the sale so i've got an original is spoiler from bmw luckily for us the bumper is plastic i've got new headlights headlight grills kidneys so whatever parts we can change brand new we are going to be changing brand new on this car um, so i'm excited for that because that's what this car deserves you know we will realistically giving it a new story uh, for me, I didn't want to sell it because the whole breaking down the garage door and getting the car was like a big thing. But now, to add to the story, breaking down the garage door, building the car and sending it to the UK is an even better story and giving someone else an opportunity to enjoy it as well. So that's the motivation factor for me. Now, again, when I had a look at the car, I was looking at points as to why I should buy the car. So most of the kit was on original suspension, upside down tag and the EVO 2 tag also is present. So uh, that's another selling point for me. But I want to show you guys the cars even got all the ABS sensors. So this car was just neglected. It's got a lot of good going for it, you know. So I'm excited again to give it a new lease on life. Now, as far as the engine goes, we're going to keep the engine stock. 
uh, just play with the head a little bit just to increase power a little bit and then run a set of branches and exhaust front to back stainless steel of course high end quality uh, we definitely need to change the window wipers um, we can't be rocking this window wipers we're gonna put the original uh, window wiper blades because that's not on um, but other than that it's got the original beadings it's even got the shade for the or not the shade the wind deflector for the sunroof we're gonna be reconning the sunroof putting new uh, sunroof cables reconning the motor redoing the wiring etc etc so there's a lot of good going on this car the kit is original this is uh, fiberglass i am going to be changing this i've got an original set in my stash uh, simple stuff like changing the glass on the mirrors you know replacement rubber kit etc etc back bumper is original boot spoiler is original so again a lot of good stuff going for this car the idea is to tear it down completely and start from scratch. Um, yeah, so there's not much I can say about the restoration. This is going to be a very intense restoration. Um, so I hope you guys are going to enjoy this video. It's going to be a series. So we'll tackle it uh, as we go along and uh, we'll see how far we get. But I'm looking excited to go and deliver this car. So I will possibly be flying down when the car arrives to do the delivery and the handover. Uh, in the UK so I'm looking forward to that that's quite exciting uh, what do you guys think do you guys think I made the right decision selling the car um, I, I'm kind of feeling like that now I want to sell a few of my other cars that are just standing you know and maybe move on to other projects um, so that's where my train of thought my process is uh, I do want to sell my E12 535 again it's a car I don't think I'm going to get to build anytime soon and also we're going to be starting with the SEMA build so that's going to be taking our attention as well but we'll obviously do that after hours so that's something big I'm going to announce it as soon as we rearrange the shop but what do you guys think um, did I make the right decision didn't I if you were in my shoes would you sell I'd love to hear your comments down below and also help me congratulate the new owner that's bought a piece of South African heritage and history. This car is going to the UK guys and it's an amazing feeling and it's amazing privilege to be able to send this car to the UK. So once again, I'm super excited. Um, yeah, so give me your suggestions, feedback. I'd love to hear from you. Uh, once again, thank you so much for supporting the channel and uh, subscribers is climbing, views are climbing. The channel is doing phenomenal so massive shout out to all you guys and of course our guys that are always commenting interacting with us we love you guys so much the the positivity you guys push to us is amazing it keeps us going and it allows us to want to push out more positive content for you guys and once again if you haven't subscribed why not don't be swat brah you have to subscribe get everyone you know to subscribe like share follow comment i want to hear from you guys and i'll catch you guys on the next video see you soon